Hi, it's Oliver Lindsay for Product Testing UK, reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, so I've been using this for a week and I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts and feelings about the phone and uh, how it is to use and a couple of the features. Um, so the Samsung Galaxy S6 is Samsung's new flagship phone. It comes in two different types. There's the Edge, which is this one here with the curved screen. See, it curves on both sides. Um, and there's also the, the standard S6, which just has a flat screen. Um, essentially, these two are the same, aside from the uh, display, the curved display. Um, the Essex Edge is £100 more expensive. So really, the only thing that you're paying for is the curved screen. Um, so I, I kind of wanted to get to the bottom of whether it's worth it uh, and see whether it's designed just for design's sake or whether actually there is kind of uh, more to it than just trying to be different. Um, I have to say though, Samsung, Samsung have kind of build this phone as uh, the next big thing, the strap line is next is now, but there are actually other companies using the curved screen. And although as, as I'll kind of get into details of, it's industry leading in every sense of the word, it is not really um, exceptional. Uh, you can get a lot of the features in this phone in lots of other phones as well. Um, that's not to say that's a bad thing. It's still a really solid phone, but um, yeah, so I'll get started with the review. So um, before I received the phone, I was curious to see whether Samsung had made any sacrifices to, to kind of get this curved edge um, or whether it was just a tactic to seem different. I was worried this could be kind of an over-design just to make it more powerful in the market. Um, so the truth is the screen is actually really good. Um, there aren't, but not for reasons that I kind of initially thought it would be. There aren't, an, there aren't enough apps or services out there to make it useful, but actually, uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. It's amazing to look at, so I'll turn it on, and actually, before I turn it on, I'll just show you one of the features of the Edge, um, which is if you slide it like that, you should get the time. So this is one of the quick features. Notifications, and you can scroll down again. You should be able to for news updates and things like that. So this is is kind of a nice feature. Also at night time, you can just have this turn on as a night clock, and it doesn't use pixels from the rest of the phone, so it doesn't use up too much battery. So that's quite a nice feature. Um, another thing that we'll get to as I turn it on, uh, it has a fingerprint sensor, so it's really good to have. Um, the iPhone has it as well. But uh, yeah, obviously you're getting a bit more security and um, and it's just much easier to, to unlock your phone using this. So um, yeah, so the screen, like I say, it kind of feels like it's floating. Uh, it's it's uh, it, the, the edges actually really help to kind of levitate it. And as you're using it, as you're using it for text or anything like that, as you kind of get to the edges of the screen, your fingers almost just kind of fade away rather than hitting metal all the time. So to use, the screen actually feels kind of boundless. Um, as well as that, the display itself is incredible. Uh, it's the best phone display I think I've ever seen. And so pictures and videos and things like that on it look amazing. Um, the battery as well is, is really satisfactory. It will last a whole day. Uh, I've been using it quite regularly and um, I've been getting solid days worth of battery out of it. Uh, normally about 30% left. Um, Samsung actually used to be running, I've used a few Samsung phones before, the S2 and the S3, and they used to run a really, really bloated version of Android. There used to be loads of extra Samsung apps that um, it just came preloaded with. Uh, it's kind of streamlined that now. Um, one of the apps that it's got that it's kind of more focused is is the new S Health. So that is is a really useful little app, really well designed, easy to use and actually quite um, good. It has a heart rate sensor on the back as well, which uh, I won't go show you too much now, but that's also quite a fun feature that you can kind of check before and after a run. And then over time, you can see your progress, see if your heart rate is going down and all that sort of stuff. So that's really good. Um, also, it doesn't kind of nag you too much, but it does give you little nags every now and again to kind of keep you on the right track. Um, the best thing about this phone that I think is the camera. It's um, 
This phone is kind of compared against the iPhone. It's an iPhone alternative. The camera is is actually uh, amazing on it. It boots in less than a second, and the picture quality is really, really, really good. So I just so want to show you the camera booting. Uh, just double tap that, and it boots in seven seconds. It's already loaded. Um, these are some of the features. Uh, my favorite is the Pro. Allows you to customize a lot of different things, including the metering and the ISO and all that sort of stuff. Um, slow motion, which is really fun. Fast motion panorama, surround shot. Some of the usual things, but also a couple of extras as well. One of my favorite ones uh, that is brand new to me is this kind of virtual shot. So you can uh, do a 360 around an object and actually recreate that uses the accelerometer in the phone. Um, so uh, so you can kind of take a picture of an ob object and then um, look at it virtually again later on, which is a really cool thing to do. Um, not, I haven't ever seen this in a phone before. Possibly some other ones have it, but yeah, this is a really cool feature for me. Overall, I would say the S6 is a pretty amazing phone. It's, I, it's definitely the best phone I've ever used. Um, the screen, the only there's a couple of downfalls it has, uh, mainly because of the screen, in that it's uh, really, really thin. It has a very flat back, so it's not actually that comfortable to hold. A lot of the time when you're holding it, you kind of feel like it's gently nestling in your hand rather than actually having a proper grip. So if you get knocked or something, it could quite easily fall out of your hand. Um, definitely one for a case that, but, but you know, that's not too much trouble. Um, so it's kind of the, using the S6, it's not the, the future that Samsung would lead you to believe, um, but it is kind of industry leading, like I say, in every single way, um, especially the, ca the camera is my favorite feature. Um, so it also has this, uh, flipboard app. If you scroll left when you're at the home screen, which is something that you can take off. Um, but that's quite nice. It gives you kind of news and features, uh, throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for the time being, uh, wrap up. I would say the Samsung galaxy S6 is probably for me, the best phone that you can get out there at the moment. The Edge isn't going to be for everyone. Uh, for an extra £100, it's kind of a nice to have rather than an actual essential piece of kit. Um, like I say, there's, there's, there aren't that many things. Actually, while I'm here, I'll just show you uh, another feature that the Edge has, which if you swipe from the left, you can get quick access to your favorite contacts. Um, but aside from that, there aren't too many features for it at the moment. It's just mainly the quality of the screen and the way it looks that you're uh, spending your money on. Um, so it's kind of up to you to decide whether that's worth it. I think it is, um, but that's totally uh, subjective. Um, but yeah, so the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, a really, really, really solid phone with an amazing camera.